Chuni Onika, Sonic CD, Zone 3, Title Tempest. Let's go. So after yesterday's absolute train wreck of a video, here's here's a flat zone equivalent. And I may or may not have taken a little bit of a peek at this level before recording. Oh boy, I don't have confidence in the game from this part forward. Uh, so yeah, after Green Hill, equivalent in Palm Tree Panic. Like I said, the game sort of skips what would be Zone 2 to go on to the Zone 3 Spring Yard equivalent of Collision Chaos. This is our Zone 4. Hit the Scorpion equivalent of Labyrinth Zone. And yeah, right away you can see... I mean, it, it just looks like a cooler version of Labyrinth Zone. It's got this same iconography here and there. Plenty of underwater shenanigans. Got some bees, though. Didn't have that in Labyrinth Zone. Pass sign! Here we go. That's what I want to see. And now I believe... Oh, look at that. Get some bonuses here. Okay, yes. Bubbles. We got the bubble action. So, if I do this... Oh, no. Ooh, that's scary. That, that water current, that is something that Labyrinth didn't really have that much of, and boy, it's terrifying. So we need to find somewhere where we can get some speed, which this being a water level, yeah, that's going to be a little difficult. But once we do that, we can safely go to the past. And look for the little robot machine. I should probably read the manual and see what that's called. Rather than just referring to it as the little robot machine. But the US manual also referred to Amy as Princess Sally from the cartoon. You know, that character that doesn't actually exist. Yeah, Sonic... Oh, there's the pass machine right there. Sonic, back in the day, man, they were really mucking up the lore with the US materials. Anyway, check this out. Speed Zone! Back to the past. And here it is. So, that can go pretty easy, surprisingly enough, as long as you find that initial pass sign. Now, did I just waste, like, 15 minutes playing this stage before this recording that you're seeing right now? Why would you say that? Why would you say something so silly? You're silly, hey. Hey, you're silly. Future, don't care about that. This palette's really strange, and that background becoming a cave is actually... When is this music? <laughs> it's like spooky. Anyway, check that out. Locust Special Zone! Been a while since we've seen one of those. Oh man, this, this game, it puts me in a mood that is indescribable. It, it makes me just... Whoa, there's planet Jupiter over there on its side. Okay, let's try... Let, let me give this an actual attempt. Just one, though. These are pretty fun. I do think these are pretty cool. The hell is I saying about this game? I don't know. Puts me in a mood. Puts me in a mood where... Everything makes me laugh, and I don't know if I find it genuinely funny or if I find it annoying. <laughs> oh, what a, what a time. I, I do like this game. I do like this game. As much as it does tend to bamboozle me. I do quite like it. Again, like, the music and the aesthetic and everything is just so cool. It's just, man, sometimes the level goes high. <laughs> but hey, check it out! We got, uh, the cherry lozenge here. 
That gives us the ability to clear our throat of phlegm on a cold winter day. Seeing as it has been a cold winter day for quite some time here, you know, appreciate it. Title Tempest, Act 2. Oh, check this out. It's a moving wall. Yeah, we'll see something like that. In the future. Get it? I I'm not trying to be cute. We're going to see something like that in a water level in a, in a game that isn't this one. Oh, check these out. These are little water things, but they look like little Hadoukens. They're really funny because they're essentially the Potobo things from Marble Zone. But they're kind of harmless. They're just mildly annoying. Passed. Nice to get an early pass there. Now I just gotta find a cool straightaway, somewhere to get some speed. And then we can just look for the robot machine. And I believe we might be near a place that wants to crush me to death. Oh, check that out. Well, there's another pass sign there. Yeah, so here's a nice bit of a straightaway. And if you, again, drop dash back and forth, you can get some pretty easy time travel. That's clearly... Whoa. Was that it? Was the machine right there and I didn't realize it? And that was a big explosion. So that's cool. Check it out! It's a fish! Just a, a regular fish. Not like a wacky cartoon fish. Just a regular fish. I'm probably not supposed to traverse like that, but whatever, man. So I'm gonna assume I hit the machine, like... Oh no. Well, there it is. Okay, well, hey, I, now I'm going to assume I hit the machine. <laughs> as long as I, look at that! Listen to when this game goes nice, and it just gives you the path sign in the machine at your path. It's really easy and really nice. Oh, man. Hey, let's see how we do in this special stage. How about we just do that? <laughs> Yesterday was a train wreck. Today is wacky. Welcome to Sea Lab 2021. It's 2023. That... That cartoon is historical fiction now. Oh no, not the shoes! Not the shoes! These special stages are very, very cool. I really like the backgrounds in particular. I just think they look so rad. Okay, get my bearings straight. Okay. So if you get less than 20 seconds, yeah, you hear that little boing sound, and that spawns in a new UFO that gives you time right there. Oh god, uh oh. No, I'm gonna run out of time. Well, we gave it our best shot. Uh, let's give it one more attempt. Just one more. One more, because I was pretty close there. So I believe there is sort of a path that is intended for you to follow. Because the UFOs don't really stray too far from what is essentially their home. Whoa, there. They kind of just bonk around and kind of dope about in... Oh, no. Spiky chompy blocks. Spiky chompy blocks. Yeah, you can see they, they tend to hang around... Uh-oh. The same general position 
And as long as you follow the path and jump smart, see, yeah, pretty easy. It can be difficult because Sonic does auto-run to a degree, not very quickly. And you can slow yourself down by going into the grass tiles and all that. But hey, we got a little lemon-lime cherry flavor in our delicious beverage. And a coin bonus! Oh boy. That's nice, considering we used a coin. Not that it matters. Good future! Tidal Tempest! Yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually. You can see there's... These little plants here... And there's little plants in, like, jars and stuff. One thing that, again, I do really like about this game is the different incarnations of the stages and how they are visually different. Get a shield here because, I mean, as we've seen so far, this game is filled with powerful, fearsome bosses. The likes of which we've never seen before, and here's one of them. Oh no, see? I absolutely needed that. Oh, gotta get these rings then. So yeah, it's kind of reverse Labyrinth Zone instead of... Oh, gotta get that invincibility or else we'll never be able to defeat the nefarious Dr. Eggman. Except we kind of just did. Yeah, reverse Labyrinth Zone though. Check out the fish. That's pretty cool. Plural. And now... Oh no! His terrible, fearsome, genius idea of creating a shield out of the one thing, the one thing that is actually going to preserve our life underwater. If he simply did not have the bubbles and just floated up there and shot at us, we would naturally drown. But Eggman, he's a good sport. We are going to see this sort of shield boss design revisited many times in the future. Which again, I think is something that is really cool with the 2D Sonic games in particular. There is a lot of consistency in concepts and concepts being revisited. But yeah, you only have to hit him once and he gets busted up and you win and you beat the stage. Oh man! <laughs> Title Tempest. Pretty cool stage, but Jesus hell, man, you could get absolutely lost and destroyed, and I, I didn't scrap a recording, you scrapped a recording. 